I wanted to touch on how beneficial a 25-foot interval gyro can be to better design rod pump wells. These graphs here show well that an operator wanted to convert from gas lift to rod lift. On the left, we have dog leg security. On the right, we have side loading. And they originally sent over a 100-foot interval MWD to design with, which is shown in blue here. You can see the MWD displays a five-degree dog leg near 2,000 feet. So with a seat nipple depth of 11,000 feet, and making 200 barrels of fluid per day, the side loading equates to over 800 pounds because your side loading is dependent on your rod loading. And so this would lead you to believe that this is probably going to be a high failure rate problematic well. We did suggest running a gyro because we typically see one and a half to two times worse on the deviation um, compared to an MWD. And we wanted to make sure that we were going to run the best design possible while also setting realistic expectations on run times for the customer. They ended up running a gyro, which you can see in orange here, and you can see it's almost two times worse than the MWD, equating to 1,400 pounds of side load, as well as more severe deviations throughout the wellbore. We ended up running beefier rods, so inch and eighth and one inch, due to the multitude of deviations, and they had to run a long stroke unit, you know, due to seat nipple depth production, as well as the deviation. Um, so this well has actually been running for close to a year now with no failures.